Nobody plays <laughs> with friends. Welcome to Ghost Hunter, Blade Runner. This is a ghost. Do you want to make sure graphics are okay or? Big ghost hunter. What do you mean? They look fine. I just mean like make sure they're like native settings. I I always double check the first time I play a computer. Game. I always done. Same when I Boy. when I see a done ghost out in the woods, I always. Oh, bum, bum. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Wait, that. Wait, there's ghost. a frame rate I'm limiter on. Oh, you Why would they do that? are just a tease. Oh, no, wait, there wasn't. I was wrong. <laughs> you are a fucking... <laughs> do you also you wanna... just wanted to see the settings, you coy little bitch. I saw Tomar f fleecing his beard and going, ooh. <laughs> do you like to turn motion blur off? That might not even be motion blur. That's it might just be depth of field. Blur. I don't know. Let's just play. Jesus okay. Christ, Tomar. You're Try like to have a fun, dude. Kid in a candy store with all these options. <laughs> Bits. Little bits. Bits, boops, and blops. Okay, how many things worked on this? Hmm? How many things? They're called say, people. Five, They're called game developers, at Chris. At least five different organizations. Chris, that's you. That's Tomar going to pick up his tampons. <laughs> that's not true. That, that's <laughs> you trying to stop Tomar from getting his tampons. <laughs> Is this the opening cutscene you were talking about? Yeah. It's the one that makes me smile that we, uh, skip the first time, but actually, uh, includes the, the opening to the game. I was gonna say, this just seems like it's to get you hyped up. This doesn't feel like an intro at all. Well, I mean, it feels like an intro. It doesn't feel like a story. You can't use those. That's Dawcock. What's he gonna do, sue? Guess you're right. Is he gonna enforce his patent? That's a total odd Doc Ock move, too. <laughs> to enforce his patent? <laughs> he climbs up the fucking building with those things and he goes, Ah! Litigation! Yeah, Doc Ock's real infamy has nothing to do with his mechanical robot <laughs> arms. It's so everything to do with his buddy. litigiousness. Does Doc Ock think people don't know who he is or do people know who he is? Everyone knows who he is. Okay, so he's not- he doesn't have a secret identity or anything? Nah. Nah. That's why his yeah his na name is Doctor Octavius. Oh, that hurt. What was all that about then? It's just some general rudeness. So when you start the game, you just got the one hand. General rudeness. <laughs> general rudeness. Okay. That's the main villain's name also. <laughs> general rudeness. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know what you're waking up from. Wow. Who gave me that? So someone gave you prosthesis and dumped you on this balcony. Prosthesis. Whoa. Yeah. We saw all the frames. Yeah. Every last one. That's good. Oh. Come on. Don't be <laughs> cut up, to that guy. <laughs> you can only slash the living. So this is the future, huh? This is... Yeah. This music okay. feels like it was in Hotline Miami. Yes. They have a lot of these like driving kind of do 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 do. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's got a good vibe. Ooh, a trespasser spotted at Metro Station. Like I've played a good amount of this game, so I like I've heard this fucking loop a zillion trillion times, and I'm still not tired of it. Maybe that is the key to these things. Just designing. This is just a feature of a loop that people can tolerate. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Slicing people is nice. Oh, yeah. If that was true, walls. they would call it nicing people. I don't follow at all. Well, you should. <laughs> God, your software is a mess. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that turbine. Oh, yeah, they tell you. So, shift. Oh, I shift see. Shift lets you dash. So you, it won't slow down, but you can dash through. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh bad. yeah, you die in one hit in this game. Yeah, everything kills you, like Hotline Miami. Have you played this? I've played the demo. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, this rocks. Am I doing good? Yeah, you're doing real great, man. Do good. You haven't made you me go. angry yet. That's good. Another little, uh... <gasps> Whoa! 
This is where it's going to start turning into the real game. Yeah, so oh, when you hold shift, like, you can move around in midair yeah. while what? you're... Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, that's so but cool. Expect, expect people to... Expect there to always be someone else ready to shoot at you, because that's how the game's going to be for the rest of the time. Okay. You'll see. You'll yeah. see how it is. It's kind of like super hot. Yeah. A little bit. Bah! Who's that? A friend. Okay. He's, he, he's upset. You should do something to help. If a guy looked at you just like that and you were working retail, would you tell him to leave? Uh... <laughs> no, I'd, I'd want to figure out what's wrong. Well... Isn't that the right thing to do? That's true, but are you... Is that above Whoa. your pay grade? Uh, this is kind of a philosophical question, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's true. I don't know. Can I try? Yeah. Cool. Let's see how I do. So wait, I'm confused. How are you supposed to know if someone's shooting you or not? Uh, it gives you a little icon. Yeah, there's so you, like, so a, you, like, there's like the, a little. War, war if you go into slow mo, you can dodge oh. bullets like while you're doing it. Okay. See that? Like yeah. that's how you get around. Them. I see. I need to get better. at Utilizing that. You can also, if you slash right as the bullet hits you, you can block it. Oh, that's right. Wait, really? Yeah. But it's it's kind of hard to do. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Fuck. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck you! Yeah, this game kind of does reward flailing a little bit. Nice! Got him. There you All go. Right. Cutting into human flesh never felt so good. I don't know about never. <laughs> oh, I shift! Oh. There you go. Tomer, you love your steaks really well done with ketchup, right? That is not a fact. <laughs> That's a fiction. Tomer well, likes know. to put spaghetti sauce on his steak. <laughs> I still will never fucking oh, ever fuck. turn down spaghetti sandwiches. <laughs> had he says, this is steak and parmesan, and he puts... <laughs> God. You absolute losers haven't lived until you've tried spaghetti on toast. It, isn't that just carbs on carbs? Yeah, it rocks. Yeah, I guess it would. Spaghetti hoops on toast. It is the ultimate meal. Like SpaghettiOs? Yes! Have you never tried that? Fuck! It is fucking Fuck. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're thinking about it, that's making you fail. You're thinking about the delectable <laughs> taste of spaghetti toast. Yeah. SpaghettiOs on toast. <laughs> it's a good- it's so yummy, dude, I swear. Tomar's addicted to video games. I just like the satisfaction of slashing these guys, and then being harder to slash makes it even more satisfying. Yeah, because it's like, fuck you when you finally get them. I think Jack Thompson was right. Oh, come on. I was going to hit that. All right, give me three more tries. All right, two more tries. Well, whatever <laughs> happened to that guy? Jack Thompson? Yeah. Didn't he, like, go completely nuts, or did, did he? He might have gone to jail for something. I I actually forget. I actually want to see what happened. I, I feel like he has like some kind of like haha served you right dickhead <laughs> ending to his story, but I don't remember what it is. He was such an actual piece of shit. Let's see. Okay, that, that was right. probably uh, more I, of the no, dream. No, I, I got a controller. I'm, okay, I'm here good. we go. Okay, Lel's plague. Oh man. Okay, wait. Let's see. He's 69 years old, dude. Nice. Yeah, that's the response to that number. Who's Jack Thompson again? He's the guy that used to always be like, Video games kill people! Oh. When and Molly then, was coming out, he was like, This is a Columbine simulator! All I know is he had a problem. Yeah, he was like a convenient, like, like, boogeyman for, for gamer boys back when I was in high school. I remember we all used to shit on him. Yeah, this is the last <laughs> part I think I beat in the demo. Yeah, th I, I remember this, this being took like a while. the first room I got stuck on. I oh think this God. is like supposed to be like the first like actual challenge. A trespasser spotted in the area. Well, you're pretty good, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Well, I, I've I've genuinely just been playing this, so. So that's kind of disingenuous. Yeah. No, it's definitely cheating. Okay. Or, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Are we supposed to be good at these or no? No. Okay, well then, you're in for luck. I was because, gonna say, uh, this is Oni plays, this isn't <laughs> this like... This isn't any, anything where we have to be good. Alright. We just have to be funny. Uh, Chris, not so funny, say though. something funny. Alright, um... Uh, give me a topic and I will make it 
humorous. Isn't isn't it weird how as soon as you say say something funny, it your fucking you. brain yeah. completely like yeah. goes out the window? <laughs> it's true. You f you forget what comedy That's is. That's a dance you... monkey dance situation. Kind of. Also, like the framing of it when you cross your arms and you're like become funny. <laughs> you're like, oh Jesus. Well, you're you're really helping. You're really putting me in the mood. There's these really evil books, uh, like that are basically like how to be funny. Are and there? Yeah, and they're very calculated. They're like, does it? Do you feel like there's anything? Worth no, no, no. Okay. It's either. I really just think it's a if you're born it or not. Yeah, kind of a thing. and those are just people exploiting all the unfunny people who think they can become funny by reading a book. No, they're unfunny people exploiting more unfunny people. Oh well, that's yeah, that's fair enough. Because you'll never catch an I, actual funny person writing these books. Oh, of course not. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like those people are well aware they aren't funny, which is which is why they want to spite all the funny people by <laughs> by writing books that infuriate them. I feel like the only actual advice you could give to someone is stop trying to be funny. <laughs> stop caring. <laughs> and then they will probably become a little more funny. I got Dang, he got his head. Perfect. Fucking dickhead. Well, gone head. <laughs> I'm going to put my dick where his head once was. That is beautiful. It sure is. Isn't it warm and juicy in there? <laughs> Good old juicy. <laughs> once you go head, you can't stop yourself anymore. You become a monster. Well, if you fuck a reptile, is it cold? Uh, you'd assume, right? You mean because they're cold-blooded? Yeah. Is cold-blooded literal or figurative? Literal. Oh, okay, then yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I know the main distinction okay. with cold-blooded <laughs> creatures is they actually have to physically warm themselves up when they get too cold. Like, there, there's no internal body heat regulation. That's why lizards will sunbathe on rocks for hours. What if you put a lizard in a uh, in the Arctic? Then it gets mad at you, probably. <laughs> what you do that? <laughs> yeah, are there any Arctic lizards? I've never thought about that. That's a cool uh, idea. An Arctic lizard. Yeah, make a movie called Arctic Lizard. It's like uh, what's that movie? Was it The Thing? Yeah, where, yeah. where they're, they're in like Antarctica and there's the thing there's is thing. also there. Yeah, could be like that But there's a lizard and they're just trying to catch it in a jar <laughs> It's like kangaroo Jack. Yeah with a lizard steals like a quarter to meet you. That they need for uh, whoa for the vending machine. Oh, that's a, a good it's guy. Andros. That's a really cool effect a strange Whoa, well is the story in this even worth listening to? Oh, it, it's pretty like background. I was gonna say it seems sparse enough that we could put up with it. <laughs> These effects are amazing. Who are you? He has the coolest voice ever, by the way. Ghost Runner? Yeah. Half of it's probably the the filter, but he sounds so fucking cool. Number seventy four. I wanna hear it. Yeah, these guys all have like timber in their voices already and then they're running through filters that make them even like like toothier. Yeah. Toothier. You know what I mean? Gives it some. It's like flutter. It's got traction. It's got. Yeah. It's got texture. It's got bite. It's got warmth. It's bright. It's. <laughs> I'll just be. I'll be the dick. I'm sorry. It's chewy. It's gooey. <laughs> it's chewy. That should be a new audio term. <laughs> chewy. Yeah. I'm sure someone's said it. I've I've bitched in the past about all those audio terms. The, the, the sad thing is that they are all things that you eventually get used to and know what people are talking about, but yeah. nobody really explains them properly from the get-go. Is he talking about his ex-wife? <laughs> I think he's talking about the lady in the Ghostbusters no, movie. No, it's his ex-wife. Wasn't she the... No, she was the gatekeeper, not the, the key man. The, the key master was Rick Moranis. I am the key master. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about Rick Moranis, is what I'm trying to say. He said he had more anus than anyone before him. <laughs> he got like socked in the face recently. Rick Moranis. He was oh yeah, that was the New thing. York. He just got like yeah, he just got like beaten up by some random dude in New York. The poor fucking guy. Almost a century ago. I don't even think they knew he was Rick Moranis. I think they just beat him up because. Do you it think was, it would have changed? It was like a crime of opportunity. They're like, is that Rick Los Anus? He's like, no, I'm Rick Boranus. <laughs> look at it, look at it! <laughs> Too late, I already cocked my punch! <laughs> <laughs> cocked it. He forgot to put the safety on. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, 
Look down, look down, look down. Wow. That's pretty. Upon your fellow man. Look down. Be brown. Don't look right at the screen. <laughs> I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> Did you did you watch that yet? I, I did because you brought it up in an episode and then I had to put it in there and I ended up watching more of it than I wanted to. I've but. actually never seen it. It's but, worth the good. It's worth the good. We'll watch. I've seen that, but I've never actually seen the fucking movie. Uh, I saw that movie. Is and it was the my movie intro to Les Mis. No, Les Mis. Oh, the movie Les Mis. I yeah. see. That was my intro to uh, Les Mis, and it got me into it. Les so, Miserable. So I watched that movie and I was like, that was pretty cool. And then I watched the 10th anniversary thing and I was like, that sounded way better than the movie. I mean, it, it, arguably, isn't it better to start with the worst version of something and then like and then get, see the, the better version yeah, of it? Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the worst version of it, so I had nowhere to go but up. There you go. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like the oh, the book is better than the movie. It's like, yeah, it, it's always gonna be. Yeah, yeah. So if I like the movie, good. Now, now I have a book to look forward to. The main reason the books are always better than the movies is because you have way more time with the characters because you're reading it for like ten hours straight. Yeah. And the characters come out of the book and they talk to you. <laughs> they said, "This movie's coming out. It's going to destroy us." <laughs> That'd be a cool plot to you, a movie. You have to destroy the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that. Just a movie about itself not being as good as the book. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that's been done before. Maybe. I don't. I can't think of anything that went that meta. Give it three years. Someone will steal this, and then just not credit us. I was yeah. In the back. We both were Everybody who's died. done something we've said Which after we've said it owes me a million dollars, and I think I deserve a fraction of it. And I think Chris. I was also, gonna yeah. say. All I ask is that for every million dollars you make off our ideas, you give me three hundred thousand. Also, That's we're gonna need money. we're gonna need for at the end of the film a three D model of Tomar's head to appear, and it's going to rotate, and it's going to say a Joshua Tomar production, <laughs> a Tomar Topia production. <laughs> but it won't be my voice saying it. Yeah, no, it's got to be someone else's voice, and you've gotta you've gotta <laughs> imitate Tomar's likeness without any references. So it's got to be my memory. And put this game's filter on top of it. Yeah. So it's got some extra chewy bite. A Josh Tomar production. But first, jump. We need to get back. And it's much quicker. That looks so cool. Wow! I wouldn't live there though. What if rent was really cheap? Uh hmm. I don't want to rent. Okay. You wanna buy? Yes. You wanna buy a buy some real estate in this cool future world? I want black and red brutalist architecture to own. What what counts as brutalist architecture? Just big towering, like ugly square buildings, oh, like cool. tower blocks. I see. Would you really want that? No, <laughs> not really. I want to live in a hobbit hole, but fifty thousand trillion miles under the ground. Why that deep? Then no one can fuck with me. Oh, okay. And I can push my little red button, and everyone on Earth gets poisoned by a purple mist. <laughs> A purple mist. Yeah, it makes your hair fall out and your ears turn different colors. <laughs> it turned different colors? <laughs> yeah. How come you became a terrorist and as part of this story about your ideal home? I got home? nothing to lose. I might as well <laughs> yeah, go all out. He's a homeowner now. He's got fucking absolutely <laughs> nothing but contempt. And you can't oh, find wait. me. I have this now. Wow. That's cool. Oh, no, no, no. This is cool. We put all these billboards everywhere. Dude, I want this in my house instead of stairs. Just, <laughs> just imagine your stupid skinny ass doing all this shit. <laughs> yeah! Uh, not that your ass is stupid or skinny. You, you, know, have, you know what I meant, dude. Imagine no, you I have, know what you meant. Imagine you have guests over and you're just like, well, I mean, I just use the grappling hooks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, why everyone's always complaining when they come here that there's no stairs. <laughs> uh. If you were, like, stuck at the bottom of Whoa. something, and that was, like, the only way to get out, and you'd never done it before, how long how long would you have to be in there before you'd, you'd just be like, okay, well, I'm probably gonna die, but I might as well try it. Probably one day. <laughs> I just imagine using that thing for the first time, launching myself, and just, just turning into a, just red on the wall, just, just a splatter. 
You'd have to do it eventually, right? Like, and the guy's just like, oh no, you really need to ease in on the on the reel. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> These graphics are really nice. Yeah, this is one of those games that's. Um, I think this is like thirty bucks. Mm. And it's it's like kind of one of those like middleware like like not quite triple A but but not but quite, not quite indie. indie either. Too nice to be indie, yeah. Yeah. I guess that's not nice to, to nice indies. It, well, it seems it seems too high budget to be an indie game. Yeah, it's it's in kind of like the same the same sort of echelon as like uh that game Hellblade. Mm. Which yeah. is a, is a pretty good game. I don't know if it would be good for It's a for really this, good but... looking game for sure. Yeah. No one will answer this broadcast. And the wizard came from the moon. <laughs> it's kind of that wizard came from the moon. I'm so mad they took that out. Like, why, why couldn't they just leave it? Wait, what? We couldn't was, they leave well enough alone? There was a line in Destiny where uh, Peter, Peter Dinklage, Dinklage unenthusiastically says, That wizard came from the moon. <laughs> it sounded really <laughs> stupid the way he said it. So they completely replaced his lines with Troy Baker or Norlin, Nor Norlin North or whatever the fuck. Which is lame. I've, 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 Norlin, I've, what? I've, I've heard more about that situation. Like, Peter Dinklage really didn't do anything wrong. He was just not directed well. Like, he Yeah, was he's not, a great actor. Exactly. Like... The idea that Peter Dinklage was miscast is like a sort of like a rumor that got started because of like how that came out. But yeah, everything I've come to learn was that like they didn't give the poor guy like any context as to what he was voicing. Yeah, and context is very important. And then instead of just redirecting him correctly, they decided to throw him out and be like, well, whenever <laughs> Nolan North does things, people like it. That delivery even sounds like a, they're not giving me anything to work with. <laughs> and it, the it, wizard came from the moon. It also, He's like that. <laughs> yeah. It also might be like a situation where the person was too scared to give him direction. Yeah, like because he's from fucking Game of Thrones. Yeah. Maybe that's what it came down to. Someone was just so starstruck by Peter Dinklage that they they're like, "Well, wait, did I you say gnome struck? Did I say gnome struck? <laughs> the fuck, no, dude? <laughs> we absolutely didn't. You guys are fucking messed what up. What did I really? Did I really say you said gnome struck, dude? There's no way I said gnome struck. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you said that. Uh, wait, I need to listen. Listen back to this. <laughs> You're so fucking messed up. Like, uh, how would I even come up with gnome struck? You heard it here, folks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Report the press. <laughs> Report the press. <laughs> the reports of the press. <laughs> Tell them what happened. Go, go, go. The thing is, I, I'm believing you now that I said gnome strike. Tomar is gonna have to fucking chase down a mail carrier before he delivers news to the press that he said gnome struck to clear his name. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I gotta go. Well, you used to work at Machinima, right? Uh, yes. What? Tell us cool Machinima stories. Uh, the CEO of Machinima at the time that I did work for them, uh, was the writer of Breakin' 2, Electric Boogaloo. Breakin' 2? Breakin' 2, yeah, the What's break that? dancing movie. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even know there was a break dancing movie. Breakin' 2, Electric Boogaloo is best known as the sequel that coined the term Electric Boogaloo. Really? Is it really? Yeah. That's where that comes from. I didn't know wow. that that was the one that Electric Boogaloo came from. Yeah. So, uh, the more you know... Also, nobody Whoa. in that company knew what the f*** they were doing. That's a fun fact about it. Yeah, that uh, seems true of almost every YouTube MCM yep. to this day. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was it was literally like a f***ing revolving door. They're just door. guys who really wanted to, like, take a portion of the money they knew was passing through YouTube. And they were just trying to figure out new ways to make it theirs. Yeah. That, that was definitely a company where the business model was like fooling investors into like sinking yeah. money into it And also hiring quite literally everyone they spoke to just so that they could take a percentage and do nothing Yeah, well that, that actually made them like pretty profitable. Yeah, a lot of those companies actually aren't where the they literally They just lie to investors and say like oh our numbers say this and that and the other and it doesn't really like line up with how much money they bring in so people just like pump millions of dollars into it, and then wonder where it went. Yeah. Start stealing the copper from the walls in the end phase. Uh, Aw, I thought you were good. I'm good-ish. I thought you were no, good. No, I, I didn't mean, like, skill-wise. Like, I thought you had cleared that area. I didn't see what killed you. Oh, I see what you mean. 
Wow, you're going pretty fast. You're going pretty fast for a guy who should probably slow down. <laughs> uh, drinking like a fish, are you? <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> Got those memos for me. <laughs> oh, it was so close. All right. I'm angry at that guy specifically! This is kind of cool. Kind of cool going on here. Cool. Ah, fuck. It's always that same guy. Yeah, uh, get better, dude. I do love, like, the sort of real, like, not that it's realistic, but it's, I like the realism factor of games like this, where it's like when you go and run through and take out a room of, like, 50 guys, you're actually doing it. Yeah, it feels like you're really doing it. Yeah. Just because the stakes are so high and you die with, like, a tap. Right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I always like it in games when yes. you don't have, like, a shit ton of health. Yeah, and this gets you right back into it pretty fast. And when the mechanics are designed around that... This yeah. Again. Are you doing a puzzle right now? I'm oh. doing something uh, that may or may not be a puzzle. Fucking... Fucking... I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Tomer, say the F word. Uh, fuck? No. Friend. Oh. Say friend. Friend. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. The joke's already over. I already said fuck. You're my fucking friend. Have you ever watched the movie and at the very final fucking moment of the movie, the guy grabs the other guy and says, You are my fucking friend. You are my fucking friend. And that is the most, like, emotional moment in the whole movie. Oh, fuck. I can't, I can't believe you've done, done this. <laughs> Those two guys should have a movie. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Wait, One what? of those guys actually fell into a wood grinder. Really? Yeah. That's terrible. Was it on purpose? Did he die or just get injured? He, he lost his body from his toes to his neck. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. That would be everything but his head. He couldn't still be alive. <laughs> he was and he died. All right, then. <laughs> was any part of that true? <laughs> the yeah. camera zooms in on his head at the top. I was going to say, yeah. Can't was believe it? you've done this. Did it, did it, he didn't really get caught in a wood chipper. No. You made uh, that up. I made that up, okay? Sometimes you got to make up things for funniness to happen. <laughs> you got him, okay, Tomar? You made me look like a dimwit. <laughs> it made you look like a dirty liar. Like a dullard. Wait, I might I might be I might be getting this here. I might be getting this in a sec. And if I fucking do this, you guys have to admit that you were wrong about me. Oh, you gonna try to make it into one big square? I've been nothing but right about you, dude. Yeah, that's that's kind of the idea. There we go. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. Down we go, friends. Down, down, down. Into the beach. Into the beach. Whoa! whoa, whoa. You will need to That's cool. And attack simultaneously. The bounce? That was awesome. To aim at. Oh, Tomar, you know how to code huge video games for AAA companies. How did they do that? I don't. <laughs> what? There we go. Whoa, how'd you do that? That's the ability I just got. He can blink. Go. So you line them up. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> they just turn into mist. The enemies won't line up for you. Adapt to their movements. Ah! Sensory boots all right. This rocks. I wish the whole game looked like this area. This zone? It's pretty. I feel like it would hurt your head after a while to no. just fucking always be in this. No. No. But yeah, this this zone is cool. <laughs> I like how quickly you shut that down. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's kind of. It's funny. my friend Patty Ross. One time, him and Jack were driving through a McDonald's drive-through. They were both really hyper, and when they got to the, the little box where you talk in, the person goes, "Hello, can I help you?" And he went, "No." <laughs> <laughs> He's just like slumped back in his chair, as low as he could go. No, no. <laughs> How'd the person that's react? An that's annoying. <laughs> it's just stupid. Like if, I, like it's funny to me, but that'd be really annoying if I was the guy taking his order. Well, here's a, a good follow-up story. One time, him and Jack were in their car, and there's this little place in Wexford where like big, like hard men always stand at this like zebra crossing. Like every time you you look at this wall, there's always like big, tough, scary dudes standing there, and Patty and Jack are like, they're trying to like alpha everybody, so they pull up to that zebra crossing. 
and they saw those guys all standing looking at them, and then Patty was trying to be cool, and he tried, like, revving his car to drive off really fast, but he stalled his car, and it died, and he, <laughs> and he skid, and then those guys just looked at each other like, he skid. <laughs> it was just embarrassing. You skid. <laughs> he, he skid. Yes! Okay, I can, so now, when I, uh, when I reflect bullets, it actually goes back at the guy who shot at me. No, no. Well, yeah, check this out. You can't do that. Yes, destroy their hope. See? Whoa! You know how they make this music? How do they do it? You put a bunch of PCP pipes all together in a big row and you hit them with a big wooden spoon. No, if you did that, <laughs> your dad would ground you. You can't. Did you say PCB pipes? PCP. <laughs> PCP? That's a P mean PVC? Yes! Yeah, I think that's what he meant. That What's is the PCP? correct pipe. PCP is a drug. It's uh, a. It's a street drug that makes you not feel bullets. Really? Yeah. What? At least that's what it's most famous for, is a lot of criminals use it, cause like... They get shot? You can just shrug off pain when you're on it. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Let's, let's start doing it. It's really, I'm pretty sure it's terrible for you. Really? Yeah. But what if I get shot? It's What's just more like, terrible, a little bit of drug or a big bullet of pain? It, well, it doesn't make you any less shot. It just yeah. makes you not know that you're yeah, shot. Yeah, it just lets you shrug it off in the moment. I'm happy with that. Well, if you were in an anime battle with a guy, you might be like, I'm really smart because I don't feel pain, but then the guy would go, Tch! and he would use that against you. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been in an anime battle in a long time. Yeah, and it shows. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to... Uh, I mean, I called your ass stupid earlier. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fair. Look, we've all said some things we regret. Tomar said, uh, the thing about being dwarf struck or gnome struck. <laughs> there was messed up. You just said dwarf struck and gnome struck. <laughs> dwarf struck. Unprompted. Bleep both of those. Cut those out. Make it sound like Tomar said them. I don't care. You edit a run Tomar's, uh, every episode of Tomar through an AI so we can have a, a copy of his voice. And then we'll make him say all these things. That'd be terrible. You probably could do that. You don't can. Do, don't do that. You, you can do that. <laughs> They did it with Spongebob. I just don't think that women deserve these same rights as you and me. Yeah. Oh, he it blocked might... his bullet and he still got you. Yeah, it, it, even even with the deflect thing, it's not like it's like a sure shot, because they want they want you to play the game right, goddammit. Damn it. Yeah, use that cool blink. See if you can line a couple of these suckers up. Yeah, well, it it's... You have to, like, charge it by killing oh, dudes I, and oh, doing I stuff, so it's... Whoa! Oh, fuck. That was almost real cool, and then it sucked. You got By the this. way, if anybody else wants to give it a go... No, uh, I'm, I'm really yeah, happy you, watching. Yeah, I was gonna say, you've now gotten to, like, a harder place, and... Yeah, you, you seem able to keep our momentum going. You say after I've died a million times, <laughs> but... Yeah. This yeah, is hard. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's supposed I, to be, like, a little bit challenging. I was gonna say, my, my bit at the beginning, if anything... Or me and Chris's bit at the beginning shows just how difficult this game is to pick up. Yeah, I still don't quite understand how you can keep track of everything, even with those little things flashing everywhere. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit hectic. I feel like there is a bit of a trial by fire element to the game anyway, where you just just... You know, if something fucks with you the first time, you'll be back at it in like 15 Whoa. seconds and you'll hopefully remember it the next time. Bitch. That was good, Lo. Thanks, man. I yeah, know. no, there's definitely, like, an element of, like, you're you're supposed to kind of die on the harder parts a few times before you actually get them. There's a smell -ament. A smell -ament? Yeah. Mount smell -jaro. I feel like it's, like, a couple patches away from being, like, almost perfect. But Aww. it definitely, uh... Later on, there are points where I was getting real frustrated. Bless you. Because you have to go, like, a prolonged period without dying sometimes. Mm. And, uh, sometimes your guy will, like, jump over something when you don't want him to, or he, like, won't grab a rail, or he'll, like, he will or won't wall run when you want to do him the other way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it- Yes! It kind of guesses what you want to do sometimes, and it's not always super reliable. So the longer you have to go without dying, the more frustrating that kind of gets when it, like, fucks up a little bit. I just hate the term heckin'. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, I would my, really rather you just drop adverbs entirely if you're gonna say heckin'. Yeah, right? <laughs> or, or, I guess, adjectives. You just say fuckin', or, or, or some alternative, like, freakin'. Don't say heckin'. 
No one ever said Helen, so why would you say Heckin? Uh, Helen Keller said it. It's Heckin Keller. Heckin Keller. Heckin Keller. <laughs> Keller. <laughs> She'll now be known as Heckin Keller. <laughs> she was so Heckin Valley. I love the lighting in this game. Yeah, no, it's real cool. But where the fuck are you anyway? He's a head. Well, actually, he's a dead guy. You are? No, the architect. He's a dead guy. Oh. That's like survived through like an AI that he became. He kind of tells you that at the beginning. I don't know if you caught it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I, I only caught it because I, I think it's 70 times the speed of a normal person. How many times have you seen that level end screen? Uh, 70 times the amount that you've seen it. Okay. Got an itchy bum bum. You guys want to see me do something really fast? Mm hmm. <laughs> That was not. Whoa! This, I've seen How many faster. things did you just do? A lot of things. I've seen way Let, faster. Dude. I, Slow I it feel down. like I counted at least like four things just during the initial. <laughs> <laughs> it's whoa, like that. Uh, Slow that down. What did he say? I said my friends are very good, Chris. Also, I can see the future. This is me talking when I went, <laughs> which I also just did fastly. Wow. Whoa, so you said the fast thing inside your fast speech? You can't hear that. I that's, put that in an editing. That's pretty meta. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking stupid bit. I regret doing it. <laughs> so, Mar, can you hear me? what did Dr. Manhattan say in that one movie? It, you mean in, in the, the, the Watchmen? Yeah, he says... To get to the other side. Uh, what well, Rorschach yeah, says, tell me, tell me the, the future. And then Dr. Manhattan says something like, My mind is clouded by... Particles I got sent back in time by oh, an atomic that's a, blast. Yeah, the, the, oh, that's a convenient. Yeah, I don't even remember that part, but that sounds about. That sounds like a good cop out to explain why a guy who sees the future can't see the future. No, -uh, it's true science. It's better to just not have a character who sees the future if you're gonna make up stupid reasons why they can't. Yeah, I, I think they need to admit that that guy's just blue and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> He's just blue, he never had any powers. He's the guy who got dunked in the swimming pool in uh, Big Fat Liar. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh man, god, I I'm, forgot about Big Fat Liar. <laughs> Amanda Bynes big, what is and Frankie Muniz oh. die that guy blue in their swimming pool. Yeah, together at last. Whatever it's happened like, to Amanda Bynes? Oh! Didn't she like go nuts? Oh, Don't yeah. they all kind of go nuts? Yeah, all all that stars will eventually go nuts. That's like the second law of thermodynamics. What about Keenan yeah. and Kel? <laughs> They're like AIs from Halo. Like they they go <laughs> rampant after a while, and need to be re uh, decommissioned. I want to see all of the uh, elites in Halo Three replaced with Keenan from Keenan and Kel. <laughs> I've heard Laurie Beth Denberg's really cool though. Who's that? She was uh, the. This is a library. Oh. Did you watch all that as a kid? No, but oh, I okay. I think I might have seen one episode. I just I, remember watching the Amanda show. And Drake and Josh. Oh. The old good old fashioned feet shows. <laughs> the feet oh it's god. true. <laughs> I used to fucking love the Amanda show. That was the is funniest that how, thing. how those shows are all gonna be known now? Is the feet shows? What's, that that might be that guy's legacy. What's the dude's name again? Dan, Dan Schneider. Schneider. Dan Schneider, yeah. Dan can't hang from a hang glider Schneider. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not even good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, there was never any point in my childhood where I liked Disney's live action programming. No, me neither. I can't really think of any. Yeah, well, those those were Nickelodeon, but I, Point kind of still well, Amanda stands. Amanda Bynes, yeah. Okay, I thought Drake and Josh was Disney for no, some it's reason. No, Nickelodeon. Oh, okay. I, all of Dan Schneider's stuff is Nickelodeon. Oh, okay. Even had well, I didn't a... like most of their live action shows. I liked. A f I did watch a few of them. I definitely watched Kanan and Kel, and and Pete and Pete. Oh yeah, Pete and Pete. I can't think of any other ones that I really liked. Did, he didn't do Pete and Pete, did he? I don't no, think he I did. think Pete and Pete would have been way uh, too early. Pete and Pete is way like not that shit. Yeah, it was it was like before they had like Dan Schneider running the show for that stuff. I think. Yeah. Dan, I've destroyed all my glands, Schneider. <laughs> destroyed all my glands! <laughs> Dan's destroyed my glands. <laughs> That's a real stretch. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, when he's around. Dan, I can barely fit in my pants, Schneider. Dan, I've got really small hands, Schneider. Compared to the rest of my body, Schneider. <laughs> you need to fucking stop. Talking like that. Open your eyes. 
La la la, I got a good one. Yo. La, uh, Dan, Renota, Ryder, Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's fucking funny. What does Dan Schneider have to do with Winona Ryder besides their names rhyming? Shut up. <laughs> I like how that time you just you just got shot in the yeah. face and like yeah, just, just didn't really acknowledge it. I dare you not to get shot. Ooh, dare accepted. Yeah, his body fell. His head stayed. That's how I want to go, man. Body fall, head stay. Yeah, I want to just like be teleported into the center of the sun. That'd be a good place to go. I feel is like that would be the that quickest just, death is, ever. Is, yeah, is that just you wanting to die in the most, like, quick, but, like, hyped up way? I don't think you could possibly feel that at all. You would just be gone instantly, right? I think so. If you were teleported even close to the sun, that would probably be true. It'd be cool to die right at the center. Right at the center of the sun? Yeah. Because only you know- you would know you'd be in there. Exactly. Yeah, no one else would even fucking notice. They just look at the sun and just be burning. What if, uh... And you'd just be like, like a point zero 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 one percent extra fuel in the, in the infinite fusion reaction that's our sun. What do you call it when you, uh, go out of your body and, like, fly around the world? Oh, a... uh, astral project? We're talking- yeah. oh my god, I'm sure we're there's talking... a ton of people who have astral projected that are stuck in the sun somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, Jordan yeah, D's that's, just that's gonna the, stop moving one day, and they're gonna be like... That's the truth to why no no one believes in astral projection, because all the people that did it just wind up in the sun. There's no one left to, to tell their tale. Yeah. yeah, the CIA guys arrest your, uh, your astral projection for getting too close to the sun. <laughs> I want to see that in a in a good movie. I astral want to see a good someone's movie astral about projection it. get arrested by the CIA. I want to see that whole thing where it's like you get arrested for astral projecting by astral projecting CIA dudes. It's like the <laughs> coolest idea ever. I want to see like a catch me if you can kind of movie where everyone's astral projecting and chasing each other around. That'd be a good idea for something because there'd be two elements to that, right? Like they could chase you as a guy and they could chase your ghost. Exactly. And then either element could be like, we got him here, but then they don't have him somewhere else. I just want to see the first, like, third of the movie where the guy's abusing his power and sneaking around as a ghost. <laughs> You're not interested in, like, the conclusion? No, then it's just gonna get really cliche. Yeah, it's gonna get predictable. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to see the villain it's, of that kind of movie, you know? Yeah, why is that? It's so much easier to set up a good premise than to actually deliver on it. <laughs> it's because a lot of these stories don't need to be full movies, they could just be cool short stories. I guess that's a good point. Where is my Aunt Liz? You'll find her, man. I believe. I haven't seen her since the goat incident. Why don't you just go to that little swimming pool? You have a lot to say about why I don't do things. <laughs> uh, read that big sign. What does it say? Oh, yeah. This this is where I go. Ooh. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. Strange. Strange, isn't, isn't it? it? Strange, isn't it? Isn't it? I love that. He's the, he's the uh, he's the best voice Sonic ever had. Who who voiced him in the OVA or the Jaleel Keenan White. And Kel, or the movie or whatever you want to call? It. Wait, that was Jaleel. That wasn't Jaleel White. It was Keenan and Kel? What? No, it wasn't. Both of them. They Neither of those off. are true. It was One of them's true. <laughs> But for all the crying, it was Kel, and for everything else, it was Kanan. <laughs> it was crying? Yeah, it's like the, uh, it's like the singing scenes in The Lion King. Exactly. Where the, the singing <laughs> scenes are all, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy. The guy who plays Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Darkwing Duck. Just incapable of crying as Sonic, but capable perfectly of doing everything else as Jim Sonic. Cummings, that's who I was thinking of, yeah. Singing for Scar. Sorry, I forget his name every time I try to think of it for at least a full 10 seconds. But now you remember. Oh, fuck. Did you know that Jim Cummings calls up children in hospitals and puts on the Winnie the Pooh voice? And he says, <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't do that last part. <laughs> Does he also do Tigger? Yeah, yeah, he's been doing it for a long time. Yeah, that's kind of... That's pretty, it's pretty cool. Go, go, go! Ah. I said go! Yeah, I know. But I didn't want to give you the satisfaction of being right. Instead, you gave me the splatisfaction. Yeah. Of being shite. Uh. 
Oh my god, look at you go. Isn't he amazing, Tomar? He's pretty good. I don't remember where I'm fucking supposed to- You definitely to can't kill that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I need to get on top of that thing to slash that little balls. Okay. Fuck. Like, things like that, like, they're fine when I'm just right back in it, but there are points in this game where, like, not wall running is very annoying. I feel ya. Okay, wait. Oh, Which... feel my honey! Tomar. Yes? What is a good movie that no one has seen? Uh, oh fuck! Oh! A good movie that no one's seen. Yeah. I feel like oh, a, wait. A, a horror movie that I recommend a lot. It's got fairly mixed reviews, but I still think it's really cool. Huh. Is that movie Pontypool? I've not seen that. It's just like a cool idea. Pontypool? Yeah, What's and it it just, about? I just like the tone of it. And I don't want to ruin it. Like, oh, so just go in blind. It's, it's one of those movies where it's like, just know that it's like a thriller horror theme kind of thing. And that, like, it's about a radio host who's played by... I forget the actor's name, but he's really good. I've seen him in like a few things. I saw him in this... This, uh... Have you seen that weird, uh... What's his name? Uh... Frodo? Oh, Elijah, Elijah Wood? Wood? Yeah, Elijah, it's an Elijah Wood film on that just came out earlier this year on Amazon, and it's like it's called Daddy's Home. Oh, and he plays uh, Elijah Wood's like da psycho dad. That's cool. But in this movie, he just plays this kind of like brash radio host, uh, who's like. It, it, it's a, I think it's a Canadian movie, but it takes place in like sort of like oh. rural Canada. Mm. It's just like a good setting for like a horror movie, I guess. Me and Tomar oh. watched the movie this week. It was called The Guest. Oh man, that was, was bad. It was, it was like, it was like so much mystery box buildup. Yeah. It, it basically hypes this guy. Like this guy comes to a, a family's house. He's like, I knew your son when he was in the army. He's dead now, but I was his best friend. And everyone's like, Oh my God, you must stay with us for a week and tell us all about our son that we miss very much. So he comes into the house and he's all like, Every time he does something, it's like, Damn, this guy's fucking cool. This guy's so fucking cool. What's his story? And it like hypes up all the shit. And you're like, What is he? And then. It, it's purposefully doing this, isn't it, Tomar? Where it's, it's just like hyping you up to oh, be- Oh, it's, it's totally hyping him it's up, It's like, yeah. like, we're gonna figure out what this fucking guy is, and it's like completely hyping you up. And then, like, at the two-thirds mark, it just completely shits the bed, and yeah. it becomes like a fucking it, farce! It drops into a bunch of, like, really typical cliches, and just, like, it, becomes un almost unwatchable. It's terrible! That also totally sounded like a sitcom premise, where it was like, <laughs> the guy comes over and at first everyone thinks he's cool, but it turns out he's a fraud. Like, dude, it's the stupidest reasoning. Like, everything sucks after the point. Yeah, once it's explained to you, it actually, like, makes you question a lot of the, like, there's a lot of plot holes. Yeah, and, and it also just makes you be like, oh, that was completely not worth w watching all that. Yeah. And the, the guy who showed it to us, he's a really cool guy, but he was like, dude, this is like the best film ever. <laughs> and then at the point where, where we found out what was going on, I was just like, this movie is the stupidest piece of shit I've ever seen. And is it like a big spider or something, or his head splits open, and he's like, I'm a spider! If, okay, spo Might as well spoiler be. alert, this movie sucks, don't watch it, but basically, it's it's like, he was in a military program, and they programmed him, so if anyone found out the military program, he would kill them. He cannot stop due to his programming. So he just starts, he kills one person halfway through the movie for no fucking reason, he just shoots him in the head. It's for no fucking reason. And then, one person finds out, and then he just starts killing everyone. It's like, he starts going from person to person killing them because they found out. Like that episode of Futurama? Yeah. Like the the what if machine one? It's so shit. Yeah. It, it's so stupid. But yeah, not recommended. The first two thirds rocked, but then it just, it's so bad it ruins everything. Yeah, I may have even had that in well, my head when I brought up the idea of like how so many movies are just like cool premises that they can't deliver on. Yeah. <laughs> You're just still angry about it? Sorry, I was looking at that guy's head in slow motion and I didn't get done what I needed I to. I still feel that way about Snowpiercer, for the record. Oh yeah, I tried watching that and I got I, bored. I really like the idea of Snowpiercer, but I don't actually like the film. It, yeah, it's, it's like boring and it's just like a billion Dutch angles and like... Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember watching it being like, this is giving me a headache. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, 
I, I kind of like Snowpiercer, but I feel like Snowpiercer is very, like... <sighs> have you ever seen one of those movies where it's, like, it's made in the 80s and it's been, like, referenced so much that, like, it's like, oh, okay, like, th it, you know, it, this is cliche, but back then it wasn't. Yeah. It's almost like that minus the part where it was made in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There were a lot, like it was this cast of like really talented people, and but then like the script felt like kind of, eh. Yeah. And then, I don't know. It didn't pierce your heart. I it, it did not pierce my snow. <laughs> <laughs> my snowy heart. <laughs> my snowy heart. <laughs> my cold snowy heart. You may heart. pierce the snow of the of the eternal Arctic winter, but you will never pierce my snowy heart. <laughs> you know, Tomar. Sometimes I regret putting that hat on you and making you come to life. Me oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the infamous purple hat. <laughs> you, you can always take it off. Oh yeah. Tell me the snowman. There is a part of me that would like to own a hat that looks kind of like the one in the rendering you did, Chris. Oh, yeah. Where it's kind of got that, like, carbon fiber looking mesh pattern to it. Yeah. Right, is that how you do? How would you describe that texture? It is, it is essentially hard, hard mesh or what, hard fabric. I don't know. Hard plastic fabric. This, I don't know. Maybe it is carbon fiber. All I remember is I was just trying to make it look cool and it looked cool. Well, good like, job. There was a point where I was looking online to see how hard it would be to just get a purple carbon <laughs> fiber baseball hat. Then you can walk around and say, I am Tomar from the internet. I just thought it'd be cool if the hat existed. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd actually wear it in public. <laughs> got shot in the asshole. Like Forrest Gump. Yeah. I got shot up my asshole. I was shot in the buttock. Lieutenant Dale, I got shot up my fat fucking asshole. Doesn't he like show Richard Nixon the inside of his asshole? <laughs> yeah, 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 and he, he gets does. shot in it too. No, he shows he shows Lyndon B. Johnson the outside of his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. I when I was growing up, I thought it was Lieutenant Dale. Was really? Lieutenant Dan. I know. I just heard it as Lieutenant Dale. He did have a bit of a of an accent, and a fake one at that. I hear Tom Hanks doesn't really have that accent at all. I heard that Tom Hanks in interviews for that movie pretended like he had that accent so it didn't seem like he was being insensitive and then got caught doing it. And then I just like dropped that movie, it. but it does kind of seem like Force is slightly reverted. Uh, yeah, just just a touch. It... <laughs> it's a little bit of a plot hole, honestly. Is it? <laughs> I thought they addressed it very directly. No, it's a plot hole. <laughs> Cause he'll, he'll just say something and I they, go like, I wouldn't say that. They stated so, that he had an IQ of 80, right? Oh, that's more than me. I've got an IQ of 8. I'm pretty sure it's at least 10 by now. No, you, last you time I checked it was getting smaller. <laughs> it shrinks. My IQ shrinking. By the day. Ah! You got shot. I Yeah, I just stood there too. Actually, was it 80 or was it even lower? I don't know. Is that Maybe the doctor 60. at the start that fucks his mom? Yes. She's she's like, or I, I don't know if he's a doctor. I think he's the principal of the school or the head of the school board or something. Oh, that's right. But she's like, he, he's like, he, he has the IQ. He, he can't be, go to school with normal children. And she's like, there's got to be some sort of arrangement. And she puts her tits on his hand. Something like that. She rests her tits on his on his hand that's flat on the table. She starts pushing down and milk spriller starts <laughs> spraying everywhere. She starts playing five finger fillet with his hand and her tits. Oh, his IQ is 75. That is just terrible for a child his age. It's not supposed to be age based, although I'm pretty sure your IQ does change uh, over time. Yep. It, is there not? Like, I thought there was like an age component to IQ. Well, I know it's more- your people are more likely to be scored higher when they're younger. Your IQ tends to go down a little bit as you age, I think. Or at least once you age past, like, maturity or something like that. I don't know. I'm not an IQ expert. Take what I say with a grain of salt. Tumor's IQ explanation with a grain of salt! <laughs> All right, how about that instead of stairs? Is that more- <laughs> is that more acceptable? <laughs> I would love one of those things. So you want a big giant, uh, like, like, zero gravity fan instead of stairs? Yeah. 
Why not? Because those definitely exist. They had one of those at Universal Studios. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna the one at Universal or, or, Studios. Or at City Walk. I always wanted to do it, but it's one of those things where Once it's you... just a little too expensive. Just... Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Like you think about it, you're like, that'd be cool. But I have to pay that much money, and I have to like wait, and I have yeah. to take a bunch of it's instructions way too from expensive some guy. For what it I don't is. know. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna fart. You I'm fucking better fart. not. Don't do it. I'm gonna fart. I won't don't do it. Don't you dare. I'll only do it if you guys both gave full consent. <laughs> that's really pre. That's a uh, really considerate of you. <laughs> it's like the keys to the fucking nukes. We both gotta put them in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turn at the same time, and only then can you fart. <laughs> Man, I hope I never get nuked. Well, gosh, me too. If we got nuked, I don't know it. what we do. I think everyone has that thought once in their life. Tomer, if we get nuked and there's a big EMP and all of our electronics go out, what do we do? Uh, use stuff that's not electronic. Well, I go to your house, you go to mine. We gotta stick together. <laughs> Wait, you're just saying switch houses. No, I wanna hang out. I don't wanna be in the nuclear apocalypse on my own, so... No, we can still hang out. I feel like your wall's thicker than my than mine. You, so uh, we can jump in my pool when the nuke goes off. I don't think that'd work. I think all the water would become highly irradiated. If I've learned anything from playing Fallout. Oh, I guess I'm fucked. It's already irradiated. It has chlorine in it. Well, it's not the same as radiation. It still gives you cancer. Yeah, but for different reasons. Yeah, I guess you're right. The biggest reason is that it's silly. <laughs> Oh, wait. What's over there? Hmm. Yo, mama. Yo, mama's so over there. Your mama. That she's not over here. Yo, mama's genitals are so mutilated. <laughs> <laughs> when she had you, she didn't even enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> These are way too good to be on that channel. <laughs> well, make more your mama jokes, please. please yo mama's please. nipples are so gray. <laughs> gray. <laughs> when she went to the doctor, he said that she medically could have them bleached. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, you Don't make them white, not pink. You got gray nipples. <laughs> <laughs> you try what you can. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. You, you're not as good at your so mama jokes. So you gotta jokes. go all the way across this room. There you go! You're gonna get it! You're gonna get it! I mean, you already got it, but... Yeah. Slow down. This, this guy told you different. to slow down. Don't you fucking dare! <laughs> Asshole! Watch out, watch out, watch out! There he goes. Oh my Fuck god. You missed! <laughs> wow. Yeah, these guys are actually like they get hard once you pair them with other dudes. But they're 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 kinda where the fuck did that guy go? Yeah, do you he have to kill him? Do you have to kill him to be able to proceed? I don't know if I have to, but he's fucking around and I don't like it. He's gonna come back at a at an opportune moment. Yeah, and say something silly. So, ah, I, I swear I, I swear that. you had it too. I think you were robbed. Hey, we I, was robbed. Oh, yeah, come you on. Had, we, Listen. How I well do time it. does that swing have to be? Now yeah. I gotta do it, like, for pride. Fuck. Yeah, that is an insane window. To, to me, that looks like it should work. Yeah. As long as you're swinging outward while That's it's coming in. That's fucking horse shit. Yeah, it's, you basically have to swing as it's about there to kill go. you. Like, like in the moment it would yeah. have killed you. Yeah, it's meant to be hard. It's supposed to be like a Street Fighter parry. Yeah, it's it's meant to be something that you can't really rely on. Games are not meant to be hard. Ugh. They are meant to be escapes from our shitty fucking reality. That guy annoys me. Did he go, woo? What? <laughs> <laughs> he faked you out so hard. Did. I thought he was coming. <laughs> oh, you bastard. He actually got you in the air. Yeah, th that's, uh, that's what those guys are for. Is like, if you're in a situation like this, they'll... Ooh, he's fucked! Yeah, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a hound, though. Ain't nothing but a hound, bitch. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus. Brashua Jomar. Yeah? You're still moving into a shipping container house, right? No. I am- I might move soon, though. Why not consider a shipping container? 
Why not they, consider fucking never showering again? I don't know. Does the shipping container have plumbing and electricity? It has one hole. If you put it in the right spot. <laughs> it has one hole. If you're smart about where you put the hole, there's that's, a whole world that's, of possibilities. That's the list of features. It has one <laughs> hole. So you can move the shipping container anywhere on planet Earth, essentially, right? Sure. So if you go anywhere to one of those... you can reach by ship. Yep. So if you go to that place that has, like, constant lava flowing... You can just essentially have a hole at the bottom, and you can shit into lava, and it will get rid of it every day. I... I don't know that, that that's worth living near an uh, active, like, volcano. Well, you can also have a fan in it. Yeah, and you're in a shipping oh, container Oh, okay, house. there's a fan, oh. And batteries. Okay. So you don't need electricity, you just need your plumbing. And for food, I heard lava is rich in nutrients, so you and wait for it to harden. And your job can be running a Pinterest board. That yes. can be your so job. So eat rocks, run a Pinterest board, shit, and, and shit in lava. A simple life, don't you agree? And I you can know. bring Jaxi if you want, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm allowed? She's, oh, she's thanks. She's optional, I suppose. <laughs> you can have a, a Jaxi corner. Yeah. As long as she doesn't interfere with your hole, because that's your hole. And I think we can- That's my hole, and nobody better touch it. We can get the uh, the fans together to maybe kickstart like, uh, like a sack bed of, of sand. A sack bed? Yeah. Yeah. Like sandbags, all in a big pile that you sleep on. Yeah, we gotta make sure it's low can impact. I, can, I, can my sack bed look look like uh, look like a giant patch man? I don't know if that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll get you a patch man plushie to sleep with. <laughs> okay. And we'll stitch a bunch of towels together for blankets. As long as I can look at sa as long as I can look at patch man <laughs> every day. <laughs> we'll try to ask Jordan D if he'll get you one of those Bibles, <laughs> the spirituality Bible, the Bible of science. Yes. You know what? No one said that we couldn't have a portable DVD player, so I'll burn all of Spirit Science onto like 60 DVDs. <laughs> and that will be all you can watch. That's that sounds like a good simpler existence to escape to escape the rough and tumble of Hollywood. Yeah, and we'll try to get you somehow a copy of Mother Judgment. You can see, <laughs> I just, I just, as long as I have this, the Swift on a on a USB drive, I think I'll manage. Okay, he's gonna give you a, a CD with it burned onto it, like a golden, a platinum record. Although, for the record, Swifts are getting the the kibosh at, uh, in like a month. Oh my God, really? It's re it's truly the end of Swifts. That's so sad. Oh is, my God, is there gonna be like a know. like an open source like player that? Are Newgrounds has an open it? source player. Yeah, m m yeah, Newgrounds has its own op like I don't know if their player's open source, but I'm sure it's based almost entirely on open source stuff. But yeah, they've been making this thing called Swivel the entire time. Mike Welsh has oh, no, Swivel converts stuff. They have their own Flash player. Oh no, now. yeah, I know. That's separate things. Yeah, I'm but, talking about for games. Yeah, Newgrounds has its own thing called the Newgrounds player, which will play like you know, which you can play, you can either run as like a, a companion app on your phone or as like a desktop app on your PC. I'm pretty sure it, it yeah, it works with games and movies. Yeah, and it works with most games and movies on Newgrounds already. And then oh, on top of good. that, they're making Swivel, which is a thing that can basically like re-encodes a Swift into like a WebGL uh, thing. Wow. So it can still run in browser, but that's still being worked on. I didn't yeah, know that's, that. That's good that like there's some history being preserved there. Yeah. No, I think that's a big part of how they're justifying all the effort they're putting into it. But it really just, I mean, it would be a shame to lose all the things that like made Newgrounds Newgrounds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck you. A lot, like especially the games, th those are not easy to convert into something else. But if you could do it, would you? Yes. There you go. Yes. Ah, this whoa. is fucking hard, dude. I I would be. And I my swear, I think that guy that, you, that just killed you was like the last guy. Also, <laughs> it always is, except for that time when it was the first guy. <laughs> I think that's a Confucius quote. He said that right before he.